So this is um, what the Dexcom sensors look like. They come in a pack of four. There's three more in there. And this is the one I will be using today for my uh, upper thigh sight. This is what I will need for my um, sight change. The alcohol, rubbing alcohol, a new sensor, which looks like this. Uh, my G4 transmitter piece and my Dexcom G4 receiver with share. Looks like that. And then I have some KT tape to like to see a more in-depth video of the insertion. Um, I will link that video down below. The first step to changing the Dexcom sensor, I'm going to take rubbing alcohol and place and clean the area of where I'm going to place the sensor, which is going to be on my upper thigh, upper leg area. I usually call it my thigh, um, but it will probably go right here. Next, I'm going to take off the adhesive um, protective barrier part thing like this. So that is what that looks like. And then I am going to pick the spot of where I'm going to place the sensor. Um, I like to have the this part um, facing down. So this is where the um, little piece that will be inserted under your skin will be going. So I always like to put that down. It doesn't matter, but I don't know. I just like it down. I'm going to place it right about here and keep that pushed down while I smooth out the tape. Just to make sure it is even, there's no kinks, and it is on there nice and tight. The next part um, for the sensor change, I'm going to remove the um, plastic part that is in between the plunger going to insert the um, actual sensor into my leg. So I'm going to push down on the white part and then pull up on this plunger um, ridge part. So when I push down on the white part, you will hear two clicks and that will insert into the skin. So one, two, and then up with this piece. All right, so that is inserted now into my leg and I need to remove the plunger. So all you do is uh, squeeze the two sides and then the plunger piece will um, fall out. And with this, you can just toss this part. I'm going to take the transmitter and this is what my transmitter looks like in the back and I'm going to place this I'm going to place this in so it fits in there perfectly um, and you will hear some snaps so I place it in there and then I'm just going to take this top piece and push it in okay so the whole transmitter is in the um, is locked in so you can just push on it to make sure it is in there nice and tight. And then I'm going to just take this little piece and throw it away um, for that. So now that the sensor is inserted and the transmitter is in, I am ready to take my receiver. And right now it has a stop light on it, red. If you can see, that means there's nothing uh, no sensor started. I'm going to click the middle button and then push, go down one and it will say start sensor. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting, hopefully. And I'm going to press the middle button and now it says start sensor. And now right here in the corner it has a time chart and it takes about two hours to start. Um, the sensor up and running. So then in two hours, it will tell you to put in your blood sugar two times um, and then it will start running. So I just have to keep the, the receiver close to um, 
the transmitter for about two hours and then the pie chart will turn green and that's when it will be ready to go. So here in the mirror is a better look at the sensor on my leg, upper thigh area. I love this spot. Um, I get it about three weeks out of this site. So that is my favorite. Um, I can cover it up with pants and whatnot, long shirts, stuff like that. Um, but it isn't really that big and it's just a really good, great, great spot to put your Dexcom if you're looking for a new site.